Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to be in Morecambe with Tommy Fury and his father, Big John Fury. Tommy, we'll start with you. Uh, first press conference to promote your fight with uh, Jake Paul. You look sharp, you look relaxed. Man, how's training camp going? Training camp's going perfect. Um, we've left no stone unturned and it can't go any better. Um, I've been putting the miles in on the road, the hard work in the gym, but most of all, the hard work on the mind and taking it for what it is. Um, you know, it is what it is. If I built this up in my head, you know, it'd be one massive thing when it's not. I'm going to go in there and do what I've been doing a thousand times in the gym. And that's all I've got to do on fight night to get the win. Just going straight to it then, do you feel any pressure? I know Tyson's having a laugh there and stuff like that, but being that he is the heavyweight champion in the world, you do carry that Fury name, right? You're fighting a YouTuber who some people in this sport, like John will know, they're saying that Jake's going to beat you. So what pressure do you feel going on this, being that you are fighting a YouTuber and if you lose, then... You know, it's, it's one of the things I know you don't think you are going to lose, but a lot of people are picking. So what pressure do you feel right now going into this fight? Well, when I win, um, <laughs> there's, there's no pressure because if I thought about it, I wouldn't have got past my first fight as a professional. You know, that was on a live pay-per-view. Um, and if I thought about that ever since I started boxing, oh, my last name, it's, there's a lot of pressure to live up to. There's no pressure because there's only one Tyson. There's only ever be one Tyson. So I'm just trying to be the best version of me that I can be. So when you're not trying to live up to anything and you're taking everything with a pinch of salt, there is no pressure. I don't feel any pressure for this. Like when you mention Jake Paul or mention the fight or mention the thousands of people that's going to be there, my heart rate doesn't move because I've done this seven times before. You know, I know what it's like. And in this sort of particular fight, it's against a YouTuber. And I've been used to dealing with men who's been in there with prospects and everything and used to getting hit. Jake Paul's not used to getting hit. So when he gets it proper on December the 18th, he's going to think, probably shouldn't have called him out. Probably should have stayed in my lane fighting UFC people. But that's why I'm not going to say too much because I hope he doesn't pull out because I've hit the lottery here. I do feel like that because this is an easy fight for me to get paid, well, well paid. And this is what it is. I'm not thinking too much into it. You know, this is not a world title fight. This is me fighting a YouTuber. Let's just get that straight. He's got a big following. John, I'll ask you the same question if you don't mind. If I just get in there. Um, what do you make of all these former world champions in the UK, within the UK and Ireland, saying... Picking Jake to beat Tommy, I mean, you've seen Tommy grow up, he's been around the spot, who his brother is, you've trained him as well. What do you make about these fighters and why do you think they're saying this, that Jake will beat Tommy? They're all jealous because it's not them. Because he's getting more money for this a YouTube than they've ever made in their life probably and the jealousy consumes them. That's just the problem with a lot of people today. You know, and they want so bad for a fury to get beat They'll cling all of any floating log for that to happen. But I've got news for you. If they think that Jake Paul can beat Tommy Fury, come to me, my son's a multi-multi-millionaire, we will take all bets. And believe me, come the 19th of December, they're going to have a lot of egg on their face. They shouldn't be in the job discussing boxing if they think a YouTuber can beat a Fury. You know, and if I... If them people say that to me and they come into my presence, I'm going to slap them for it. I'll slap them, no matter who they are, because that's what... They upset me, they grate me with the jealousy, because I'm not a jealous person. We're a family what's put a big commitment in. We've worked hard to be where we are today, Tyson has. But you know what? That's why we're on top and they're where they are, and that's why we will succeed all the time, because we do it right and we're not jealous of nobody, not like them. It's too much from jealousy. It's shocking. And it, you know what? They're condemning themselves. Ex-world champion saying stuff like that. What are they looking at? Tommy's mum could beat Jake Paul, the pair of gloves on. Honestly, let's get this right. We're getting paid for a holiday abroad, messing with a fool but can't fight. All those people are jumping on the Jake Paul bandwagon. Stay on it, because you're as big a mugs as him. Again, what do you make of that? I mean, I, there's also that, that thing of... Uh, the no knockout clause. I mean, I got wind of that when I was in Vegas and I was like, surely not. And people were telling me the Tyrone Woodley fight was a no knockout clause in that contract. And I heard whispers that that, that was put in this contract. I mean, you're saying you're going to knock him out. Is, can you, what's your thoughts on that? And can you enlighten us if that's the case? If it wasn't the case, I wouldn't be taking the fight. Mm -hmm. Because like I said before in them interviews, there's, you couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take a dive or not knock somebody out. I'm in this fight game for a reason to have a fight. And this, there's no stipulations in this contract, or else it won't, the fight won't be on. You know, if I see the opportunity to KO him in the first second, I'm going to do it. And that's just what it is. There's no running or hiding here. And when it's not rigged or it's not set up, he loses. And this is exactly what's going to happen. Because you've got to look at for what it is. And all these people out there backing him, well, they must be very stupid. 
But they're not very stupid. They're very jealous. That's what they are. Uh, and, and you can't help that. It's a problem within mankind. You know, there's a lot of jealous people out there, but if I listen to that, I could go on all day and call them this and call them that. Let them think that what they want because to come December 18th, they're going to have a lot of egg on their faces because this is going to be my easiest night because I've got a guy in there who isn't experienced. And let's let's have it right. If this was on a small little show, on a BT Sport, on Frank Warren show, and you had someone fighting for the British title, topping the bill, every, and Jake Paul who wasn't who he was, everyone would be saying, oh, it's a mismatch. Yeah, Tommy will knock him out and around. And let's have it right, everyone would do. Hmm. If he didn't have 20 million followers, if he didn't have Instagram, and he was just nobody, a bricklayer, and he brought him in 24 hours notice for me to fight on Saturday night under Mark Efron and Denzel Bentley, it'd be over and around. It's only because he's got 20 million followers and a big social superstar that people's giving him a fight, giving an opportunity in this fight. So I can look at it 10 times, but that's the way I'm looking at it. And that's the way it's going to be. Because I beat better men than him already. He wouldn't beat Jordan Grant, this man. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Because Jordan Grant can have a fight. He's been around the job his whole life. And this kid's just come into it. He's handpicked his opponents. And I genuinely believe he doesn't want to box anymore. And when I knock him out, you're going to hear this. Oh, well, man, I lost to a boxer. He's been doing it his whole life. That's what you're going to hear. But for me, I don't care. I'll be going straight to the after party with two bottles of wine, thinking, my God, I've just literally robbed the bank. I should be sitting in jail right now. So let's just get on with it. I can't wait till fighting that. I wish it was tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it's not tomorrow. It's a few weeks. <laughs> John, I'm guessing if that no knockout clause was in that crocker you, uh, contract, you wouldn't let Tommy fight. Definitely not. He's going there to knock Jake Paul out at the earliest opportunity. Mm -hmm. No ifs, no buts, no maybes. We don't do corruption. Somebody approached me like that, knocked my teeth out there and then the Marudi was. It's a real fight this is. And people who think it's not, you know, again jealousy and they've got a brain cell missing. You can see what we are, you can see what Tyson is. We don't do pressure. Us kind of people can get out there and have a fight for half an hour without even training full of beer. We do this because we love it, you know. He's not going to get a twitchy arsehole. He's not going to get a dry mouth. He's not going to get the weak legs. He's not going to get all the problems. We don't do that because we're used to it. You know, at the end of the day, what more can you say to these jealous people who don't know crap about nothing? They're getting paid to be pundits. I won't give them five bob because none of them know nothing. And after supporting Jake Paul and jumping on Jake Paul to beat Tommy, well, they're just a joke, aren't they? What can you say about people like that? Neither men in hotels, are they? They're nothing in my eyes. Nothing. Just jealous freaks. Tommy, I was in Vegas when uh, that press conference with Jake was on and he had that poem and stuff like that. What do you make when he, he, he says some personal stuff? I mean, it's okay talking about you and dis being disrespectful to you because you're getting in the ring to fight, but when he brings your family into it and Molly and stuff like that, do you just think, right, I'm going to get you in the ring or do you, do you rage a little bit when you see that or do you just like, right, I'll just catch him on the 18th of December. I'm not going to listen to him because that's what he does. But how do you feel at that moment when you hear him say these disrespectful things but for you and obviously your family and Molly? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything. Um, I haven't heard no poems. I haven't seen anything like that. I'm not interested. As I said before, I've not been on my phone for this fight. I'm not interested in what he says or does because it's, 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 not, it's not important to me. I'm just looking to the night. You know, I'm not here for the build-up, I'm here for the action. So when I get in that ring and it becomes a fight and he's out of there in a few rounds, that's exactly what's going to happen, he can talk the talk then because that's, that's his job. That's how he's made a living. That's how he's earned his millions, by talking a heap of shit. But you can't do that in the boxing ring because you can't say, hold on a minute, let me talk before I throw a right hand. It's, it, all that goes out the window. Come fight night, I know I'm beating this man in my whole heart. I know that because I've got God on my side. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do the job because he's a shit talker. He's a YouTuber. He's not a fighter. And I, I can't believe I'm entertaining this because, like I said before, if it was an undercard fight and I was fighting him when he was a nobody, Tommy Fury by knockout, first round. And that's it. One final one then. Obviously, I've just had a tap on the shoulder. Put the mic in the between years. <laughs> Have you got a message for Jake Paul? I'll see you December 18th. I can't believe all them clever people, supposed to be clever people, have missed the trick. This is a confidence trick, and it's paid off for the Furies. Well, just laughing all the way to the bank. We're all going to be very rich off a confidence trick. Keep tuned. I wish I was getting a percent, 1% at least of that anyway. But Tommy, good luck. Big John, good luck. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.